Hi, welcome to SolidWorks video tutorial. I want to do the brake pad which I did before in the other programs. Let's start with a sketch, maybe on the top plane. I need two circles, one with 112 diameter and one with 160. Finish the sketch. Then can extrude, make it 16 millimeters. Confirm. Another sketch. On the same plane. Make a circle. 20 diameter. And I need some construction lines. Okay, this should be horizontal. And I need some dimensions. 20. This should nope. This should be eighty four. This might be one hundred, doesn't really matter. This should be an angle of let's say forty five degrees. And these two elements should be for construction only. Okay. Leave the sketch. Make an extrude. Sixteen. And Don't merge the result. Okay. Now I want to have a circular pattern, not a linear one, circular. And I want to go for bodies. I want to pattern this body around that axis. The other way around, three instances, 90 degrees. Confirm. Now let's go to the equations. Define a new global variable. Let's say this is called angle BP. And the value should be Okay, now let's check all variables and this one, this should be equal angle BP, okay, and that one should be Two times angle PP. Confirm or just check if it works. If you change this to 50, see the pattern changes. Okay. Now let's split this body. So go for insert features split trim tool should be the pla the plane this one yes only selected bodies this body should be splitted and consume the cut bodies cut the bodies and I want to Remove the pink one. OK. 
okay then combine and that features combine subtract main body is this one and I want to subtract these three bodies confirm make a shell two millimeters remove this face this face that face and that one and there should be one with a different thickness and, there. and that's this one this should be three millimeter Let's make the fillets. One millimeter. Select the edges. Confirm. Make another one with two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, that's the wrong one. This is the right one. Confirm. Then I need two holes, so go for the whole wizard. Take this one and show custom sizing. And the diameter should be 10. Yes. I want it to be on this face. And so go for position. Take the middle point of this edge and of that edge. Confirm. And last but not least, mirror the body. This body should be mirrored with the top plane. Confirm and I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed this video as well. See you to the next one in the series. Bye bye. Thank you.